fuck. So, do you make your own memes that you put? Like, yeah. you're really active on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. So how do you come like? How do you come up with memes and and how do you like? Where do you find them and how do you curate them? You were talking about. Yeah, I'm curious. Like, how do you find memes now? Like, what you're you're in your twenties, right? Yeah. I'm 32. I'm I'm a little old for the internet, so like my meme resource is like middle class fancy and shithead Steve. And anytime <laughs> I try to go on like 4chan, all I end up with is like gaping buttholes, and it's just like yeah, I can't find anything on there that doesn't yeah. disgust me. I don't do 4chan. Bro. Like, so where okay. do you yeah, find memes and like that aren't just that? Honestly, I either I make them myself or like I got a bunch of homies that like I just text back and forth, just dumbass shit, and like do I you know Savage Realm? Savage Realm. No. Okay. He's funny. His hizzy memes are fucking hilarious. <laughs> I thought. I thought because you guys are kind of like on the same meme level. You guys are like. I might that, recognize. You guys are on that tier. Yeah, yeah. I might recognize his shit if I see it. But uh, yeah, nah, dude. Like, I usually get my memes from the homies, or like, I make my own shit. This like, like in house stuff. Yeah, nah. Like, I just <laughs> I have one like album in my in my phone, like one camera roll, just full of like just the dumbest shit ever, dude. Like uh, <laughs> like dude, like that uh. I had to go back to Joe Exotic, but that that slideshow, that slideshow video where like it has the lyrics on the top and the bottom. Yeah, that's amazing. I had a uh, um, a homie of mine that works at a zoo in Florida. Me and him were just sending pictures back and forth, so like <laughs> of like Joe Exotic memes <laughs> and shit. So like, really, it didn't take no effort to make that to, to make that slideshow thing. I just threw it because I already had all the pictures I did. I just threw the lyrics on it like. Boom, but yeah, nah, I make all of my memes myself, dude. Like, uh, I use like a bunch of like video editing apps and you know, what I'm saying yeah. like, little photo editing apps, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's it's honestly, it's 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 a uh, it's trial and error though, because like it's just like being a comedian. Like, mm. if you're doing stand up, I mm -hmm. watch a lot of stand up too. You know, comedians bomb all yeah. the time. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying I'll post some shit. It's no love at all. Yep. <laughs> you know yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah, so, that's, a, that's a part of making you know content. Yeah. You know what works and you know what doesn't work, you know. And, and you know just, pretty quick. <laughs> right, right. So it's just finding that balance, dude. So yeah, man. I'm still working at it because I'm not the best me. Do you do all the editing yeah. on your phone? Yeah. Everything from my phone. Really? I, I just I just downloaded this program on my laptop uh a couple of days ago. So I'm still trying to I'm still toying around with it, trying to see what works and what doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, everything's off the phone. Yeah. Yeah, they make it easy to to design off your phone now. You don't even need a computer yeah, for Photoshop man. anymore. There's so yeah. many second party apps that you can dude, use to just do shit on. Dude, I got a Chromebook, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, everything is off my phone. Those man. things are pretty legit. Yeah, like you, bro. Like, people think you need like this fancy like Mac laptop. With, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, I do like. That goes with recording, bro. With recording, yeah. dude, like, a lot of my first songs were, like, recorded with fucking iPhone earphones, bro. And, like, the fucking, the microphone shit, I was, like. Yeah. <laughs> on, on the headphones. Yeah, yeah, no, I was fucking talking to the mic, dude. Like, yeah, when people start out, a lot of people just get super attached to the equipment. And they think they need, like, before they can do anything, they just need to have the best stuff. Or, yeah, it's just, like, yeah. an excuse to, like, wait longer. You know what I mean? I can't. Yeah. I got to get that microphone. I need to get that. What cameras do you use? I need, I need that man. video camera. I don't have the latest Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, you think like that, you're not going to get shit done ever, bro. It's, it's fuck, it, that's, that's so toxic, man. It's just mm. procrastination, dude. Like, yeah, like, I got to get this in order to do that. And blah 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 like it, it it just hinders the creative process yeah uh when it hinders the creative process and two like you know what i'm saying when it comes to ideas and shit you know there's a lot of times uh there's been a lot of times when like me and Paolo would be shooting and like we would i would i would be like yo we got to shoot this like right now like you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i feel like if we wait on this shit the idea is going to get stale yeah like, not going to feel like you know what i'm saying not feel as excited shooting this shit so. yeah yeah, man. Yeah, because you can plan and you can plan and you can plan and like, yeah, you go shoot that plan. But you're in the moment. You have to recognize those opportunities for yeah. creativity yeah. that you can't see unless you're like in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. And if you're waiting for, you know, all the equipment and everything to be perfect, then you're never gonna get started and you're never gonna yeah, do anything man. worthwhile. You gotta yeah. start somewhere, man. Everybody gotta start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, shit. A lot of people. A lot of people that uh that that you know that 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 uh got their sound their signature sound it was from using 
bad studio equipment mm-hmm. and it just became their sound you know what i'm saying like a lot of this uh this references back to like skateboarding videos like there's a lot of people uh there's a lot of skate photographers now and filmers that still use the same equipment that they was using in the early 2000s you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying if it ain't yeah. broke don't fix it because that's that's just their style of shit like a lot of filmers are using vx100 <laughs> yeah like william strobeck or yeah, spike jones yeah, it was like yeah. running shit now but they yeah. started out with like the worst equipment ever yeah but that's yeah. the style now yeah that's the style man like if it ain't broke don't fix it dude like it's just that nostalgic you know what i'm saying shitty basement you know Three six mafia. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of my shit. A lot of my shit that I do crab now. Here, crabs here. Keep it going. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh, we got some crab boy. <laughs> it's gonna be a good. lot of. <laughs> a lot of my shit that I do now. Uh, I'll tell my engineer. I'm like, yo, this shit sounds too good. Like it sounds too like, too clear, polished, too clear. And he's like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> It doesn't like, sound shitty enough. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be like, yo, like, it sounds too crispy, man. Like, distort it just a little bit. Yeah, like, where it's got to, like, get the speakers rattling yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like, throw something on it, dude. But yeah, man, I feel like, I feel like it adds characteristic, too, you know? So, yeah, dude, I feel like at the same time, though, it's whatever works for you mm-hmm. personally. Because, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that have, you know, crispy, clear vocals you know what I'm saying? Crispy, clear music videos and everything is just perfect. You know what I'm saying? But there's some artists where you love, like, the nitty gritty, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You know, type shit. So, to each his own. I think the nitty gritty stuff is what you were saying earlier about, like, being accessible to your fans. Mm-hmm. And when you keep it at that level, you make it more approachable. Mm-hmm. And it feels more human. Yeah. Whereas, like, stuff, like, anything that, like, drake is doing where it's like that's so unobtainable and if you're waiting to look and sound like that then you're never gonna do anything nah dude because like those guys like drake they they look at the underground you know what i'm saying they're like oh what can i steal they you right right they take shit from the underground so it's like don't try and be like these big dudes because they're trying to be like us yeah they're trying to steal what you're doing so be yourself and then maybe one day drake can rip you off yeah right yeah nah hey kids isn't he like making songs for like tiktok dances now yeah yeah, no. Nah. Actually, I want to make a TikTok dance too. My girl been uh, putting me onto a TikTok lately because I'm not on TikTok at all. So uh, I, I was like, damn, like I need to make it like a little TikTok. What uh, would a big baby scumbag dance be? It'd just be like, you just go left. I don't know. <laughs> go I, go I fast like and go left. <laughs> it would have something to do with beer, like the shotgun. Like that's the that's the dance. I don't know. I'm not that coordinated. I can't really dance like that. Yeah. Like there's, bro, with TikTok, there's so many like choreography steps. And, like, there's so much shit to do. There's a new one every week. Yeah, not or, like, honestly, though, it's, like, the same five dances, but it's just, like, <laughs> they're, they're in different orders. I love the way that they <laughs> dance, so there's there's so much emphasis on, like, every yeah, hand nah, movement. Yeah, nah, hey, hey, man, but, yeah, nah, like, TikTok is lit. TikTok is for sure. It's where it's at. You yeah, gotta, man. if you're, like, doing memes and promoting yourself through social media you kind of have to be reacting to everything that's coming out whether it was like vine which is dead now yeah but like luckily like instagram twitter everything stuck around like that for you and now it's like you know you take a a risk every time you go on a new platform because like will it tank in a couple of years but is that risk worth it for you to invest the time you know, back in the day, bro, MySpace, like, I would have never thought we'd live in a world where MySpace don't exist. No right? <laughs> what? MySpace was the shit. Thank you, bro. This looks beautiful, dude. They lost it, though, once they had Holy a top 16. Shit. Really? Top oh, 8 yeah, was, like, that was, that was legitimate. But, like, once you get, like, top 32, you know it's too much. You're, you're trying to make it for everybody at that point. You That's know when you start to lose it. Bro, you know what's funny? So on my top eight, right? So there was there was these accounts, right? So I would set my top eight to say D's nuts. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> there was one account that was like D. You add D as a friend. You add E as a friend. Add E as a friend. Z. <laughs> so you just make fake accounts? N-U-T. No, like, this was, like, Real, like I got this from a homie of mine that had these nuts as a, <laughs> as a stop. Hey, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna add these nuts too. And like, I put the shit in the order. But, <laughs> <laughs> oh my, bro, look these, at this, dude. This is from Crispy Crab. Crispy Crab. Yo, this is crazy. Mm-hmm.